From trying to bribe their audience with a $20 gift card after scamming them, to crashing a plane for views. There have been several YouTubers who have destroyed their careers and lives over a simple YouTube video. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be looking into six YouTubers who ruined their reputation, career, and lives with a single video. Starting with Colleen Ballinger, who had one of the biggest downfalls in YouTube history. Colleen Ballinger, AK Miranda Sings has had a decade-long career in showbiz that saw her go from working as a performer at Disneyland to becoming a widely beloved singer, actress, and comedian that could sell out entire theaters, get her own Netflix series, and rack up numerous awards. Your choice web star comedy is Colleen Ballinger from Miranda Sings. In that time, Colleen has easily amassed a staggering 20 million subscribers across her various YouTube channels. Naturally, Colleen's brand of humor and overall aesthetic resonated more with a younger audience that loved and even idolized her for it. However, behind the red lipstick and bizarre antics, Colleen was doing far more than just entertaining her young and impressionable fans. On the 28th of April 2020, a former fan and intern of Colleen named Adam McIntyre uploaded a video titled Colleen Ballinger Stop Lying, where he alleged various inappropriate, toxic and disturbing aspects of their online interactions. The most shocking of which was when Colleen sent him lingerie when he was in his early teens. The following month in May of 2020, Colleen made a video response to the situation and her loyal fans took her side. Sadly, once 2020 three rolled around, more and more of Colleen's former fans began speaking out, which put her in extremely hot water. You'd think that Colleen would see the writing on the wall and appropriately address the allegations mounted against her. However, on the 29th of June, Colleen decided to end her career the same way she started it, by singing. All aboard the toxic gossip train, chugging down the tracks of misinformation. Within hours of the video going live, it was widely acknowledged as one of the worst responses and apology videos in the history of YouTube, with over 17 million views. Unbelievable cringe. Like, this is some pure, undiluted, unhinged delusion here. This is so strong, I feel like it needs to be added to the periodic table, like the element of delusion that she is displaying here. The sheer havoc that Colleen's latest song brought on her career was unimaginable. From June to August, Colleen lost over 100,000 subscribers and hasn't seen any positive subscriber growth since, with her viewership metrics across her channels completely flatlining. To make things worse for Colleen, she had to cancel her tour in 2023 and was forced to disappear from the internet for several months. But once Colleen did return, she tried to act like nothing happened. However, However, the mass dislikes and hate comments reminded her that the internet had not forgotten her dark deeds. This video was brought to you by Cook Unity, a revolutionary platform that's all about bringing chef-crafted meals straight to your home. Imagine having access to a diverse array of meals prepared by award-winning chefs, all without leaving the comfort of your living room. That's the convenience Cook Unity offers. What sets Cook Unity apart is its simplicity and flexibility. You choose from a myriad of gourmet meals each week, or if you prefer, let Cook Unity tailor selections to your taste. The best part, these culinary delights arrive fully cooked, transforming dinner time into a mere matter of minutes. And with meal plans ranging from four to 16 dishes a week, plus the ability to pause, skip, or cancel at any time, it's designed to fit seamlessly into any lifestyle. Now, let's talk value. With meals Starting at just $11, it's an affordable way to indulge in restaurant quality dishes right at home. From the red wine, braised short ribs with carrot puree, to the shrimp and chorizo paella, there's something for absolutely everyone. For those of you looking to shake up your meal routine with something new and exciting, check out Cook Unity. Go to cookunity.com slash anarchist50 or click the link in the description and use my code anarchist50 to get 50% off your first Cook Unity order. Now let's dive back into the video. While Colleen's ukulele video was meant to deflect criticism with a musical performance, other creators like Ricegum thought it would be better to outright bribe his audience. While Ricegum's time on YouTube was always 
always marked by various controversies and beef with other creators such as iDubs. It was these said controversies and accompanying diss tracks that truly gave him the popularity and notoriety he craved. Sure, there were those that didn't like his attitude, but there were even more people who wanted to see which creator he was going to roast next. However, once he achieved a certain level of wealth and fame, Ricegum's personality rapidly shifted from a snarky trash talker to a soulless sellout. So I'm gonna open up a few of these cheese boxes, you know what I'm saying? Blue, a fidget spinner? All right, come on. I wanna keep trying because it's only $4, like, you know, so another fidget spinner like back-to-back -back fidget spinners like if they give me a fidget spinner one more time bro i'm flushing my monitor i'm just gonna have air pot yo i be still having the cores like i don't even have these yet i spent four dollars for this you know i just finesse the website it was bad enough that rice had spent prior months flexing on his fans but the fact that he was now trying to make hundreds of thousands of dollars from scamming them brought his image to a new low and things were only going to get worse on the 3rd of january 2000 2019, Ricegum uploaded a video titled, This Dude Calls Me Out for Mystery Unboxing, in which he discussed the massive backlash he was getting. And at the end of the video, he left his viewers with this gem. It's true. It's true. I'm an asshole. Like, what was I thinking? Like, I can't really do much because I already did it. The damage has been done. You guys already saw a money hungry side of me. And it is what it is. And there's nothing I can really do but say sorry and give you these Amazon gift cards. So, I'm sorry. It just wouldn't happen again. Amazon costs 10 to $20. Just a little giveaway. It's it's the least I can do after, you know, this, you know. The mystery box scandal was already a flaming mess, as some of the community was already enraged at how easily certain creators promoted a scam. But Ricegum's nonchalant attitude to the situation was like adding gasoline to the fire. Ricegum's response to the situation pushed his once loyal fans over the edge, as many of them began to dislike Bomber's videos, leave hate comments, and unsubscribe in the hundreds of thousands. By July of 2020, Ricegum had completely abandoned his channel, only returning to participate in yet another scam. Whilst Ricegum had destroyed his reputation and left the platform willingly, the same couldn't be said for It's Owen, who was kicked off the platform by Team YouTube themselves. It's Owen was a creator willing to do anything for the sake of increasing viewership and subscriber count, from clickbaiting viewers with over-exaggerated thumbnails to hosting fake giveaways. Owen was more than comfortable lying to his audience for some extra ad revenue. For a while, the shady strategy worked well for him. Owen's campaign of clickbait allowed him to grow over 3 million subscribers on his main channel. However, his luck would soon run out, when in July of 2022, he posted a video titled, Mr. Beast's Final Goodbye to Technoblade. This is Mr. Beast's final goodbye to Technoblade and their last time playing Minecraft together. I think you missed something down here. What I don't think it? you've missed anything, actually. Oh, I think you oh, missed something. Wait, 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 no, wait, give me, give me a second here. I wanna, I have a cool trick that I can show you guys. It had only been a couple days after the tragic passing of Technoblade, and its Owen was already trying to profit from the situation. As you'd expect, Owen quickly became one of the most hated YouTubers on the entire platform, but that was the least of his worries. On the 4th of July 2022, its Owen would take to Twitter to say, My YouTube channel with over 1.5 million subscribers got wrongfully terminated for quote, repeated violations of community guidelines, unquote. I did not violate any community guidelines and never received a community guideline strike. Here is the channel. Please fix this. Owen would continue to plead with Team YouTube for a second chance, but those hopes were cut short with a tweet that read, Update, we've reviewed your account and confirmed that your channel was correctly suspended due to explicit content. Note that you will not be able to access or create any other YouTube accounts. While there was some speculation around whether or not excessive clickbait was the cause of its own downfall, there was no mistaking the reason why Illuminati became one of the most hated creators on YouTube. Millions of monthly views, an adoring fan base, and a privileged position at the top of the anti-MLM niche were just a few of the benefits Blair enjoyed at the height of her career. However, in April of 2023, Blair would make one harshly worded tweet directed at League Illegal that set the stage for her inevitable collapse, reading, Not legal eagle editors broaching my editors to take my video style, and when they didn't give up the info, they literally copied it. Just changed the color from purple to blue. Huh, interesting. 
thing. While Blair and Legal Eagle were able to resolve the situation, it opened up parts of her past that she desperately tried to keep hidden. It started with Twitter threats from Blair's former co-workers, The Click and Wonderstruck, that both claimed she was extremely abusive, vengeful, and a hateful individual. Their claims were further corroborated by Blair's ex-boyfriend, Oz Media. Blair's Twitter battle had primed some members of the audience to question their loyalty to her. However, it was her response video that truly turned them all against her. On the 28th of April 2023, Blair published the infamous Illuminati Exposed video, which would garner over 1.2 million views, bringing the attention of her community to the recent drama she was involved in in the worst way possible. Check. Um, a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about in the like most of this video, to be totally honest with you, are things kind of from the past. They involve old friends, um, people that I used to consider close friends and I used to trust and really enjoy spending time with. And kind of reopening a lot of these wounds is really painful. Um, it's really uncomfortable and it's not something I ever thought I would ever have to speak about, especially not in this kind of way. From trying to emotionally manipulate her viewers to harshly slandering her former friends at Sad Milk, to deflecting all criticism, Blair was trying everything she could to swing the public opinion in her favor. But it did the exact opposite. In the months that followed, numerous creators that interacted with Blair in the past spoke out and debunked the claims that she made in her response video. The click revealed a smear campaign Blair started against him. Wonderstruck detailed all the underhanded methods Blair used to take away the car he was living Living in, and Oz described his time with Blair as she put him into massive debt and is now trying to make him homeless. What I can only describe as retaliation from the person who is my ex, former employer, and prior colleague, Blair is in the process of currently foreclosing my home. Because of this stress of Blair taking my home from me, I need to pump the brakes and change directions so I won't be homeless come Christmas. Because that's when Blair set my home to foreclose, right before Christmas. And yes, Blair has the power to set the foreclosure sale. This combined with numerous other aspects of Blair's past coming to light, and it's no wonder why her channel lost almost half a million subscribers, lost major sponsorships, and gets less than 20k views per video. Blair had threatened other creds with legal action and paid dearly for it, but she was far from the only one to suffer that fate, as Gerard, the completionist, lost his entire career over a similar misstep. Gerard's image on YouTube has always been of a fun-loving guy who completes games and tries to do the Right thing. However, that positive image was called into question after Carl Jobst and Mudaha, from Some Ordinary Gamers, looked into the activities of Gerard's charity organization, the Open Hand Foundation. They discovered that the foundation had not distributed any of the $600,000 in, in funds raised from viewers during Gerard's annual Indyland fundraiser, or from the foundation's golf tournaments, an observation that directly contradicted Gerard's frequent claims of donating the money to various charities or research organizations. This sparked a massive back and forth between Muda, Carl, and Gerard. Gerard defending himself by stating that he wasn't aware the funds weren't donated yet, while Muda and Carl tried to hold him accountable for the mismanaged funds. At the start of the debate, the public opinion on the situation was mostly neutral, as the YouTube community was waiting for more evidence. But unfortunately, it was Gerard's official response to the controversy that tipped the scales against him. On the 9th of December, December 2023, Gerard released a video titled My Response, wherein he apologized to his viewers, shared his side of the story, and suggested possible legal action against Carl and Muda. I should have been more transparent about the money not being donated, and that's on me. But my family and I have not done anything illegal, not before then and not since. And as mentioned previously, we have correspondence from the IRS to prove that. Furthermore, my family and I are in serious conversations with our legal teams regarding next steps as the allegations that have been made have been made with complete disregard for the truth of the matter. These allegations were made by individuals who self-admittedly aren't even financial or legal professionals. These allegations are slanderous and we believe we're done with selfish intent. 
Although Gerard had donated the funds, his lack of transparency, deflection of criticism by using his dead mother's name, and intent to take legal action against the other side rubbed the YouTube community the wrong way, resulting in his video gaining 98,000 dislikes compared to just 20,000 likes, with the comment section being equally as harsh. Invoking your mother's name seven times in an attempt to garner sympathy while not donating a single penny for 10 years to fight the disease she died from is about as low of behavior I can stand. Dude's done. Gerard, you just, you just admitted to committing embezzlement. You admitted yourself you did a worse crime than you were accused of. As well as, Gerard's the kind of guy where if he has no argument left, he'll send you a PDF of his mum's autopsy and threaten legal action. Truly an inspiring man. This would all result in YouTube commentator Penguin Zero, aka Charlie, to further expose Gerard on his massive platform. He admits fault for potentially misleading people on the purpose of the Open Hand Foundation and where the money goes, even though he blatantly misleads them. He explicitly said that it was going places it wasn't. That's not just like, hey, I'm sorry you felt this way, or I'm sorry you got all these dumb ideas in your head, you bunch of fucking dummies. I, you, you, you picked up these breadcrumbs I didn't mean to drop. Sorry you did that. You blatantly misled them. These developments prompted a response from Carl, who rebuked his claims and released their full Discord call from Mudaha, which revealed Gerard had a much different tone when he was initially confronted. Pulling one thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me. And I don't want to go home tonight and tell everyone, hey, there is a gigantic thing coming to claim my career and you all have to close down and find somewhere else to do. I know this is shooting me to say this. I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything but this kind of stuff i mean i've been following you guys this stuff for years the stuff with billy mitchell carl the stuff that you've done Mudo with tons of content creators over the years like there's no nuance to this people are going to see this and they're going to immediately go that gerard guy who's been nice to a bunch of people actually isn't very nice overall and let's get rid of him and yeah. that's the thing that i'm terrified the most because i don't have the power or opportunity for that that's not in my control i've got nothing in my pockets to do that i have nothing and so that's just where my head's at i just want to be able to create content and do good in the world and this is just gonna it's even if i survive this somehow even if this is like people are like well whatever that's how it is yeah. it's, it's gonna take the passion out of what i do i like no I'm, I'm people aren't gonna trust me ever again i'm not gonna trust myself ever again and i'm just gonna walk away from all this like i, I just this is like me being like great so i'm out not just a, a, of content creation or or being an online personality i'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna disappear and start over and, and never talk to anyone ever again. And that's like, that's the spiraling that I've been dealing with for the last three days of talking to therapists and doctors and just figuring this whole thing out. In the wake of the Discord call going public, Gerard had not only lost the trust of his viewers, but over 80,000 subscribers, with his latest videos also getting dislike bombed. While Gerard had stupidly lost his career and reputation in the flames of controversy, Trevor Jacobs lost his entire online career and freedom in an actual fire. Participating in extreme sports was how Trevor simultaneously earned a living and enjoyed his life. From earning various accolades in snowboarding to working in Travis Pastrana's Nitro Circus, it was obvious that Trevor lived to engage in the most extreme stunts imaginable. However, one particular stunt would prove to be more than he bargained for. On the 24th of December 2023, Trevor uploaded a video titled, I Crashed My Airplane. The video starts with Trevor informing his audience about his mission to fly to the Sierra Nevada mountains to spread his best friend's ashes across the landscape. However, once he was in the air, Trevor claimed he was experiencing an engine failure and made the split second decision to jump out the plane.
As Trevor glides to safety, you can now see the unmanned aircraft plummet to the ground as the footage cuts from GoPros attached to it and the footage captured from above the craft, a detail that will become important later on. By the time Trevor makes it to the ground, he chooses to find the plane and retrieve the GoPros instead of making his way to civilization. Oh it's so hot out here. I'm freaking... I need water so bad. Oh, I spot the plane. I see it down there. Oh my God. Ow. Oh. 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 Wow. Once Trevor returned to civilization and uploaded the video to YouTube, it would quickly go viral, catching the attention of numerous aviation experts who analyzed the video and stated that Trevor did the exact opposite of the standard procedure during an engine failure. Instead of angling and gliding the plane for as long as possible to find a safe place to land, Trevor simply abandoned the plane midair. After Trevor reported the crash on the 26th of November 2021, two days after the crash, the National Transport Safety Safety Board and Federal Aviation Association launched investigations on what really happened. Investigators examined the wreckage, questioned Trevor, and analyzed his YouTube. After about four months into the investigation, they uncovered that the engine didn't fail and that Trevor piloted the aircraft with the intent to crash it, which is a felony. Following this, Trevor's pilot license was revoked and the news made national headlines. By the 11th of May 2023, he agreed to take a plea deal to avoid a maximum sentence of 20 years for the crime, admitting to obstructing a federal investigation and intentionally crashing his plane. In his latest video titled, I got my pilot license back but going to prison, Trevor tries to reflect on the incident positively despite the impending consequences. Not long after the video was uploaded, Trevor received a six month sentence in federal prison for obstructing a federal investigation. Considering the severity of his crimes, Trevor was walking away with a slap on the wrist. It goes without saying, but forging a career as an online creator takes years to achieve. And if you're not careful, it could come crumbling down in seconds. Some may meet this fate due to an unchecked ego or reckless self-endurance. Either way, these creators disrespected the community that helped them get to where they are today, and they always pay for it. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love my video on Jack Doherty, one of the most hated YouTubers on the platform, who completely deserves it.